Hey kids, hey parents. Happy Sunday or whatever day you're watching this. I'm glad that you're making use of trying to, to take God's truth and connect it into your daily life because God's word is, is really relevant for our day-to-day -day lives. Now, before we jump in, as we keep going through the New Testament now that we're there, I wanna, I'm gonna put a couple of things up here on the screen of some upcoming things we got, things for dads and things for the whole family, all right? So uh, I'd love to see the dads a part of this and uh, the whole family to come for this, this kickball and the egg hunt. Uh, now, today we're, we're moving into uh, Jesus' life. We talked about how he was born. Well, he came, and uh, after he was born, his parents, obeying the Old Testament, they took him to the temple to be circumcised, to be dedicated uh, for God's purposes. He was being set apart as part of God's covenant people, and better probably than his parents even knew. He was there for God's mission. Now, I've got some stuff here with me. I use this pen each day, I kind of I have a planner and I draw things out and, and say, okay, this is what I'm gonna do when, these are the things I need to work on. But you know, sometimes you have to reset a, a electronic device, you need to poke a little hole in the back and this little tiny tip. Well see, th this is many purposes that it can be used for. This hat, this is a Georgia National Championship hat. I could wear this because I'm going out in the sun and I need to block my eyes or my bald head from getting sunburned. I may just want to wear it because I want to show I like Georgia or because it, um, it looks good. There's different purposes. Uh, someone saw me coming with this and they said, oh look, you've got your staff. I said, yeah, I could keep people in line. Uh, but I could build something with this. I could prop something up with this. I could put this and make it like a little bridge. And there's a lot of stuff I could do got this rope I and mean, you could make a bracelet or a necklace with it um, you could tie up you could make a tent and like you know put the, the sticks together and then cover it um, you could tie up your sibling if, if they're annoying you but don't really do that I'm not giving I'm not telling you to uh, but there's a lot of stuff you can do with these things but see Jesus was being set apart for God's purposes not just whatever he thought or try to be true to himself no, he was being true to what God had given him. And his parents were involved in that, in, in helping him, uh, and he was obeying the law. But you and I can also be set apart for God's purposes. We, we've got to turn from our sin and depend on Jesus' death and resurrection for us. If we do that, then we are part of God's covenant people and, and what God is doing in the world to help people to live the, way, the life that they really should live, the way he made them. We can speak his word to them. And so... Talk about that as a family. How, if you're already a believer in Jesus, how can you go in line with what God has given you to do in his world? If you're not yet, talk about that. And how, what a privilege that God would take people like us who don't have everything together and he would bring us into his, his covenant people and, and use us to bring his purposes about in the world and help people to become like Jesus and become part of God's family. So encourage each other, push each other along. You can start right there at your house, but then God may help you to, to speak to people at school, your neighbors, friends, people that are far from him that need to hear about him. So uh, I wanna hear about conversations that you have. And I got one more thing for you, and it's kind of the word of the week, it's kind of the question of the week. But I want you to, to come back and tell me, what day did Jesus' his parents take him to the temple to be dedicated, to be circumcised? If you're not sure, you can go back and listen or look at Luke 2.20. I think that's the verse, and it should tell you that information. But I hope to, to hear from you and see you soon. Take care.